This is Duant Apology, and today we're going to share some experiments in generating sound from the implicit geometry in end topology. Here you can see we're using a gyroid to generate the sound waves. Now a gyroid isn't a pure sine wave, it's kind of a mix between a sine wave and a cosine, so we're getting a kind of a richer sound than you'd see from a normal sine wave. And here we're just changing the frequency of the cell size to change the tone. And to start off here we're just generating some simple tones using the gyroid to create the waveforms. Unfortunately I don't have an oscilloscope so we can't see the exact waveforms but you can hear them. Here now we're adding an LFO triangle wave from our triangle surface texture tool. And as we change the pitch, you can hear that changing the tone. Perhaps not the most musical tone you've ever heard, but... It's a classic thing used as an LFO in analog synthesis. And now it's kind of upping the amplitude of the wave to make it more intense. And slowing it down again to get different effects. It's just dragging and dropping the boxes the same as we make geometry, except now we're making tones. And this is just an experimental hack we're doing internally to try and try out some new things. Let's see where we can go. And here we're starting to use it like a sequencer. So I've only got four step sequencing some. Here we can see the notes played by the, the pitch of the gyroid. Then once we take the sequence, we can start to modify it with the LFOs and use the field to make reverbs. This is kind of some witchcraft going here, but you can see as we add the, the spacings here, you can see it changes the delay in the reverbs. Zoom in, you can see, oh, oh, <laughs> you can see how it's affecting the, the sine waves, the cosine, and the field of the both of them start to come to play against each other. We kind of get a feedback loop as well. Now we have the, the triangle wave and then add the field to do the reverb. And some weird effects where the field interacts with itself to sort of tweak the uh, reverb on the sound. Now we could try it with other TPMS structures, but I'm just using the gyroid for this example. There we go. Now the really tight LFO, something like a, almost like a waveform in itself. And now we add the delay from the field using the turbo visualization. Now as you pass through the field, we can make the tone change a little bit. It's a bit of a delay because we're just hacking this together for now. You get the idea. I don't know if there's ever been a way to, you know, use 3D geometry to drive sound before in quite this way. And here we can see evaluating the field. I'm just tweaking it to try and get the delays right on this one. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting random points in the body to in the sound waves to trigger the notes coming on and off. Now space it out a bit more. Get spacier kind of um, random tones. And I've got a gate on this because otherwise it'd just be a point and you wouldn't be able to hear anything. So we've got gated sounds um, based on where the spheres interact, intersect with the waveform. Now the visualization isn't in the same 
sort of scale as the waveform, but it just gives us an idea of what we can possibly do here using Antalp to synthesize sound. And even now, really letting the field play a heavier role in this and turning down the initial sound. So, thank you for taking the time to hear our early experiments with sound synthesis and endopology.